having those nightmares again? Frank. Frank, you're scaring me. Hey! You look awful. You need to go to town to see that doctor. You ain't the only Civil War veteran that's seen the elephant. How do you know anything about it? Trash. You wouldn't understand. I'm not saying I understand. I'm just telling you, you need to get some help. Doctor can cure that. I ain't been to war, but I've had my fair share of battles. Don't belittle me, Frank. That's all right, darling. Hey, just a little out of your death is all. Take piss. Is that all right with you? Should I call the doctor? Well, I'm going home. Okay. Screw you, Frank Connor. Don't bother calling on me.
Yeah. Yeah, you're right on time. Stupid bastard! There's dynamite in there! Go on, get the rest of those bugs. for me to know and you to find out now, ain't it? You've been stealing from the wrong people, Mr. Walsh. Big in here, but man, I 
inside.
Because the vomits robbed me! I said, 
Who are you? And what the hell are you doing here? <laughs> Shit! Who the hell are you? Okay, okay, we'll explain. Just please don't hurt us. Please don't hurt us. Please, you're the only one that can help us. Who are you? Grace, this is my little brother, Ethan. Okay, well that's progress. Grace, Ethan, what are you doing out here? Well, we took a horse. Where's your parents? It's got a lot to do with our parents. You don't say. Well, it all started when our mama got married five years ago. Where's your daddy? He died. He was a soldier. He was killed in the Simpsonville massacre. Our mama said he was a hero. That he sacrificed himself to save five men. Sounds like a great man. Grace says that she remembers him. But I think she's lying. I do remember him. Sure. I cut it out, you two. I don't really care. You best spit it out and get to the gold there point. So, like I was saying, our mama got remarried five years ago. But at first we liked our stepdaddy. But soon after they got married, he started treating us all real bad. Yeah, real bad. Our mama's been doing everything she can to hold things together. You know, for us. And then, last week, our parents went out of town. We saw our stepfather. So? So? So they were supposed to be in Dallas together for a couple of days. And we hadn't heard from our mom for a week. She would never do that. Well, I'll tell you something. I, I feel so bad for both of y'all. I do. You're just tugging at my heartstrings. But why don't you tell me what this has to do with me, huh? My stepfather locked a safe in his house, but he don't know we stole his combination. And Grace found some papers inside. And with a little research, we found you. Yeah. 
gotcha. It's my turn. What kind of information led you to me? Well, you were on a list. What kind of list? It had all these names. And then they had yours. And it had your birth date, your location, a drawing of you. And even your shoe size. Is that so? Why y'all come to me when you go to the marshals? Because our stepfather works for the government. Yeah, he's a federal agent working for Congress. With the War Department? No, I think he's something more high level. With the Bureau of Indian Affairs? Yeah, yeah. Let me ask you something. How do I know you two ain't lying to me, huh? list. Yeah, if you look to the right, it's it's very important. It says... Eradicate. I looked it up. Eradicate means pull up by the roots. Or do away completely as if pulled by the roots. Yeah, I know what it means. Think they'll leave us alone now? No, I don't suspect they will. I think they'll be back before long. Where are we gonna go? Wait. Well, I suspect you two dummies just die if I sent you back out on the prairie. All right. We're gonna go back to the cabin, get us some supplies, and figure all this out. Call me back, Mr. Danziger. Appreciate you making your way back to the compound after supper. I might have missed dessert. You know, it's the best part of the meal. She was pretty, too. How many times I got to tell you? 
Don't salute me! Say the military! Got the wagon, so where's your stuff? I'll go out and I'll be right back. I'm gonna make sure it's right on. Okay, we'll be right back. Take the paper with you and read it. Say, Danziger, you don't have a, uh, a line, do you? <clears throat> With all due respect, there's gunpowder residue everywhere. The whole building could blow if you drop that cigar. You don't think I'd be stupid enough to blow up my own infantry, do you? Somebody told Ulysses S. Grant that he couldn't smoke a cigar in a white house. No, sir. So, you want to talk about something? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, I did. Uh, well, well, let me just say, nah, I got the ceremony, this ain't the army. You speak freely. In fact, why don't you take a seat? Yes, sir. Go get them horses and water. Sir, Washington, D.C. is beginning to question some of our activities. Oh? They've already contacted captains and three of our operating arenas. And just last week, an agent from the Bureau of Indian Affairs contacted me directly and had some very <clears throat> specific questions about our procedures. Uh-oh. They seem to believe that we are selling weapons to the natives, when of course we ought to be selling to the settlers. And if I may continue to speak freely, sir. Go on, Robert. Sir, I think maybe this operation ended under the law. And, uh, I've got a family to tend to, and, well, I feel I've done some good time here. And with your permission, of course, I'd like to get what the getting's good. Say no more. You have a family to tend to. Yes, sir. Well, I suppose if you can't ethically and morally yourself with 100% of your being to this arrangement, then I have no choice but to release you from your responsibilities. Sir, <laughs> sir that is, uh... Thank you, sir. I, I do appreciate it. And my wife and children will surely appreciate it, too. Thing you should know, though, Danziger. You should know there's only one way to beat my operation. So. You are dismissed. Lousy bootlicker. Hey, Brett. Thelman and Kennedy are on the wire. We're just finishing up here. What we got? Connor and I have 
We'll find them. He just slipped his hobbles. No, sir, we'll find him. He just slipped his hobbles. What about the kids? Kids, question mark. They were not there either. Kid's not there. Don't stop looking for him, and when you find him, you hold him, and you let me know immediately. Keep looking. Hold them. Be quick. If you got away, we'll find him soon, though. Here. We'll find soon. I don't have soon, Feldman. Find those kids now. That's it. Just packed it up and go. Mother's somewhere between here and El Paso, but you don't know where, huh? Yes, but we figured you know where she is. Yeah? What makes you figure that? We know all about you. You're a part of the second Texas Mounted Raffles. And look, Mr. Connor, we know you're living out in the bonies, but you're a real hero in the war. I weren't no hero. Sure you were. I don't know here is more, kid. But you save lives and you you help people. No, I watch men, women, and children die right in front of my face, and there was nothing I could do about it 99% of the time. That ain't no hero. Are you okay? What makes you think I can find your mother? Because you've got to! Mother's name. Heather. 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 What? Heather, Heather Powell. Powell. You do know her, Mr. Connor. How do you know our mother, Mr. Connor? Wait, Mr. Connor, where are you going? Wait for us. Kind of joke, huh? No, sir. You tell me the truth. How, how do you know where to find me, huh? Your two ain't been honest with me. How do you know who I am? Hey, what? Daddy's list, and we figured it was you when we were right. Now you tell us, how do you know her mother? Please, Mr. Connor. Your, your 
Molly was the only woman I ever truly loved. And we were together for a very short while, but uh, for what? Because I was a horse's ass. Because I, I just I couldn't handle real life when I got home from this bloody battle. What happened? Just stay the hell away from me! to go away. Just hobble your lip and come on. I refuse. Sweetheart, my men taking good care of you. Oh, do not trifle with me. What is going on? Heather, you need to settle down. Everything is a okay. You, you. You are a madman! Where are my children? Where are they? Where are they? Where are my children? They're fine, Heather. Although, Grace did get a B on a spelling test, for which she was punished. We are an A family, as you know, and Ethan tends to be quite the crybaby. But we had a new dog. If you hurt them, I swear to God. I swear to God. Now why would I hurt my children, Heather? They are my children. That's not what she said when we married. <laughs> Travis, please. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what you're up to here. I, I don't care. But if you just please, 
Let me go home to the children. Ah, uh, I swear you, you'll never have to hear from me again. I will go away forever. Forever? Unfortunately, I'm not that simple. You see, you have more value to my mission. Your mission? Am I ransom? Uh, is that what I am? Is that all I am to you? I, I, I knew, I knew it. I, there was always something. There was always something wrong about you, about us. Uh oh. Well, I'm afraid that might be my cue. Well, little angel, I'm going to check on you later. Oh, I almost forgot. I bought you some of those revealing petticoats that you like so much. Why don't you go back inside and change into something a little more comfortable? I'm sure my boys will enjoy that. You know where, unless you're a mule. Remember that, sweetheart. Sleep here tonight. We'll then you on in the morning. Mr. Connor, where are you taking us? Friend of mine, make sure you're well taken care of. But we want to stay with you. You ain't staying with me. Uh uh. Friend of mine is going to make sure you're safe and try to figure out what's going on. But, Mr. Connor, we can't just. Don't question my decision. Otherwise, I'll leave you out here in the middle of the desert to fend for yourself. You got it?
I made some good old sage bread and rabbit stew. Oh, thank you. You don't mind taking us in, do you? Of course, Mr. Frank. Our home. It's your home. Hello. Hello. What's your name? I'm Grace, and this is my little brother, Ethan. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you, Grace. Good to meet you, Ethan. Come. Come in. I'm not trying to be rude, Mr. Connor, but how did you make friends with an Indian? Connie here is one of the best uh, translators I've ever known. One of the bravest men I ever met as well. You saved my life, won't you? Really? Mm hmm? How'd you do that? Well, um, so Zahani and I, we were, uh, we served together in a unit. We were, we were soldier. One day, Zahani was, he was serving as a scout, so he was charging up ahead of a group. There was a sharpshooter, and he had a bead right on my forehead. He wouldn't got the drop on all of us. But Zahani snuck up there with his knife, and into that sharpshooter right quick. That fella's rifle went off and coming for him, so we had to ride to his rescue. Mr. Frank saved me. Yeah, but only after you saved me. For that, I'm eternally grateful. No, we will always be indebted to Mr. Frank. I didn't do anything. How many people have you two killed? I think that's a story for another day. No disrespect, Mr. Connor and Mr. Sayani, but we really need to find our mother. Please, Mr. Connor, you've got to help us. Time's running out. She can be in a lot of trouble. Y'all two don't be rude. Eat this here food that prepared for you. We'll move on soon. Good to see you, Hoss. How are you, Paul? Yeah, we're alive and well. How are you? I'm okay. I'm okay. I need your help with something. Name it. Had two kids show up from my shack out of the blue, followed by two men. Working for a man named Briggs. You heard of him? Heard of him? I work for him. He's a no-good scoundrel, and one of these days I'm gonna get him. Okay. You heard of a woman named Heather Powell? That's his wife. Pretty young thing. Yeah. She's been missing for a week and I need her found. Can you do that for me? You? You betcha. I'll try and cut her trail. And if I find her, I'll get word to you. Appreciate it. Take care. Get your whiskey next time.
Major Parsons, you're coming with us. I'm not going anywhere. Not until someone tells me what's going on and where you're taking me. It's none of your business. Just leave me the hell alone. All of you. All of you nasty men. Don't any of you animals have a heart? I've got two children who need their mother. Do you even know what Briggs is doing, huh? He's not working for the government. He's taking advantage of all of you. You're all damn fools for that beast of a man. So stay the hell away from me. You marry him. Who's the bigger son? <laughs> Take this dirty, filthy, disgusting <laughs> Jesus and whore away from me! <laughs> Caster! What do I owe the pleasure? Major Briggs. Yes. There seem to be some discrepancies in your reports regarding the resale of weapons. Now, I'd like a little explanation as to what's going on with your activities. Well, then why don't we start by discussing my activities? Please. I must say, with all due respect, from my vantage point, the operation is rolling along just fine. The weapons are selling to the settlers. Although, perhaps I should remind you, the Southwest is quite expensive. Sometimes it just takes a bit more time to make contact with each and every American. <laughs> there have been a series of unfortunate events that lead me to believe that your guns have wound up in the hands of the natives and the Mexicans, and not our American settlers. <clears throat> no. In fact, we have tracked some of the weapons that attacked our army back to your stockpile. Hmm. Would you care to share some thoughts on that? Well, Captain McAllister, if I may uh, speak freely. Please. But don't waste my time with excuses and apologies. <clears throat> no, no, I'm not a time waster, nor do I offer excuses. But I will tell you this much. If you don't stop crawling so far up my asshole, I will be notifying President Grant of your continued ongoings with the sweet little something named Jenny. Hard-boiled eggs are yellow on the inside, Mr. Briggs. Are you sure you want to run around spreading gossip like some big city reporter? 
I'm gonna give you one more chance to clear your name and show the White House that your weapons are making it into the hands of our settlers and not the Mexicans and the Indians. And I hope that these instances of malfeasance or anomalies are not the norm. And if I don't see production from your little outfit here, I will take it away from you and send you back to South Georgia, where you belong. Oh, and Mr. Briggs, I will make sure you see Valdosta again. Only this time you won't be wearing a uniform. You'll be target practice for the Union Army who still doesn't know the war is over. Good day. Good day, Captain. It was a pleasure. Don't you start a war with me. I'm afraid you might not like how I fight. Say to me, huh? After all these years, after everything we've been through together, after everything you've done, that's all you got to say to me. You go to hell. Picture a long time before that. Plus, she never even loved you. Well, it don't matter anyway. Oh no. How's that? Cause I'm gonna fucking kill you. I'm sure you are. I know what you've been up to since the war. Hey, well, I've been getting rich. You. Explain that to your kids. You know exactly what I'm talking about, Connor. A mother and her two babies that you walk out on. Where are they? I know you got them. I didn't walk out on no one. I don't know what you call it. I roll my own hoop and I'm tired of the job on some shadow rider. Now take a seat. Think this through, Frank. You can't kill me. Oh yeah, why not? Because I got Heather. Get a bullet, you ain't gonna be able to digest! Hello. Hello. They know who you are. Ain't no secrets here. The hell you scissor bills been? Mr. 
Fader Dan near killed me. Sorry, sir, we got here as soon as possible. As soon as possible, thought you was tracking me. You said you didn't want to be tracked. Yeah, no matter. Get him out of my house before I blow his guts out. Let's go. Come on. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Keep moving. And find my kids! Come on, you two. All for you. Are you just taking advantage of it? You, I mean, you know that, right? You know all this. Killed his own man. I mean, you know what Briggs is up to, don't you? I mean, I have to assume you all know that Briggs ain't even his real name. Mr. Connor, nothing you say is going to convince us. I suggest you keep your mouth shut. I have no choice but to gag you. <laughs> you broke the law, you're going to prison. The law? Oh, we're way, way above the law here. I mean, you do realize that, boy. His real name is Henry T. Bartlett. He's a wanted criminal for killing innocent women and children. Are y'all too stupid to even know that? Just ignore him. Is that what Briggs up to? It ain't none of our business. He's probably even screwing your wife. Who? Oh. My wife? Pete, gag him! Yeah. What the hell? Connor! Don't let him get away! Right there! Don't let him get away!
Sorry! Apollo! Grace! Ethan! Johnny! The Potter! Grace! Ethan! Johnny! Johnny! Hey, hey. Mr. Ben. I'm sorry. Sorry. I let you down. No, 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 no. No, Johnny. I'm going to take care of you, okay? I'm going to fix this. <laughs> you okay? John Lee has died. Not me. I'll take good care of me. Johnny, Johnny, you stay with me, all right? You hear me? You stay with me. You stay with me, hey! Peace comes within. We have to go. We can't stay here. It's too dangerous. No. I will not go. You go. You sure? I, I, I can't leave you here. I will stay here. Where, Grace? 
Grace and Luther. They are by the creek. I'll be back for you. Hey, you kids okay? Strange how... How Curly won't let myself. Don't have a guts to tell two little kids how it feels. I just hope the two of you know how sorry I am for being there for you and your mom. And you might not believe me, but I, but I did write your mom a lot more letters than the ones you found. She never returned any of them. You've been on my mind ever since. Ever since I walked out. Anyway, we'll get your mom back. Maybe. Just maybe I can convince her to take me back. And we can be family again. What do you say? Does that sound like plain? Uh, anyway, I'm wrong with dreaming. <laughs> One pretty little filly. I think she's the best blanket companion around. Ain't she, boys? <laughs> Get her off the horse! Please, 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 no! Please! No! 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 Relax. You're gonna have a great time. Here you go, boss. No! Please! 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 Believe me, little lady. You're gonna like it. Come on. Over. Let's go. Let's go. Now. Now listen. Why? Stop fighting me. Now listen. I want you to climb over that mountain. Tomorrow morning will be the stage coming in. Carson will be driving you. Now get on that stage. He'll take you safely. What, what are you? Why are you helping me? Who are you? That's not important. Here. This will help you get over the mountain. Now go. Get out. Thank you.
<laughs> oh, boys! Where's the woman? Spot up, the party's over. What do you mean the party's over? She ain't fit for a drinking man. You slapped me, I killed her. You killed her? That bridge ain't gonna be like a It don't matter. Now let's go. Mount up. Mount? M O N T. Mount now. Boys. She killed you too. Down, I'll explain it to you. Sure. Love what you've done with the place. <laughs> hey, Paul. I'm coming. Ah, Frank. My favorite sign. Voice down, okay? Why? No one can hear us for miles around. Hey. Hey, who's are those? They, uh. Well, I think they're your grandkids. Yeah, I told you. He ain't fit for adopting. You look at the. I'm sorry, but they can. Can you help me get him inside and I'll explain? Sure. Come on. Come on. You look like you're on the wrong coach. I'm fine, thank you. You can talk to us. You ain't afraid of no issues. Ain't nothing we haven't experienced. Young lady, I've been riding on this coach for three days and I am sick and tired of your dribble. I didn't mean to start a fuss. I'm just trying to get back to my children. You ain't horrid. I thought Mr. Carson stopped and picked you up because you go into town to work with us. No, ma'am. Oh. Then what are you doing on this coach? If it's all right with you, I'd rather not say. 
I'm the madam of the saloon that this hit coach is heading to, so you best be telling me. I'll tell Mr. Carson to pull over, and we'll throw you out. And you can die in this godforsaken death. I was kidnapped. You don't look like you've been kidnapped to me. I was kidnapped by my own husband. Your husband kidnapped you? That's exactly why I ain't ever getting married. I just use man for money. Ain't nothing a man's gonna do for me that I can't do for myself. All right, Missy. That's enough you have shot. You know, I think you might be right about that. Well, your children are the most important thing in the whole world. My parents didn't pay no attention to me. Now I'm 18 years old, pouring all over the west. That's enough. You hush up. Oh, you're going to be out with her. No more horrid for you. You have a daughter? Yes. Her name is Grace. Oh, ma'am. I want you to go find Grace and educate her real good so she don't end up like one of us. Okay? Like a good woman. I wish my mom were more like you. Those kids' ears are real lucky to have such a strong woman for a mama. Thank you.
car! Give me that. Give me that. Why'd you do that? Guns aren't for kids, okay? Well, Mr. Connor said that you owned your first gun at six years old. Well, things are different now, okay? Well, it's different. Seems to me nothing changed around here in years. I'm different, okay? Besides, I've seen what these things can do when they fall into the wrong hands. Would you, would you kids go inside, please, and talk to my pop? Luster, anger. Listen, son, you, you have some bright kids there. Yeah. I'm just happy to find out I'm their grandpa. I just want to make sure you don't screw this up. I just want you to be a family. I think you need to fix this, son. All due respect, you just don't know what you're talking about. Look, uh, that life. Life is dead. It's, it's gone. What the hell you're talking about? Remember that the man who knows how to die standing is the one that keeps it coming. You know that. What happened to you? I just came. Okay. Huh? You looked after him for a while. Leave him with me, that'd be all right. I'm the only one here for a hundred miles. Yeah. We gotta make this right.
So the report is Miss Powell was killed by one of the men when they were moving her. Where are you getting this from? Harrison, sir. What'd you do with my wife? Well, we were setting up camp. She had to relieve herself, so Sharperson took her over some privacy. Pulled his gun and shot him. And she ran backward. McKay was making the fire and she shot him. What about you? I was tending horses. I heard the gunshots, I came running over, but she pointed the gun at me. I gave her a lead pill. I'm sorry, but it was her or me. Where's the body? Murder. Left the other two for wolf bait. Don't worry. I said a prayer. Son of a bitch! Don't shoot! Don't no. shoot! We'll never find his weapons if we kill him. Don't worry, sir. We'll get him. What the hell kind of Ricky Dick operation you running around here, huh? I'm truly sorry about your wife, sir. You some kind of idiot? I don't give a damn about my wife. You don't. Sir, I'm just not clear on why you, you want Connor so much, why you care about him so much right now. Frank Connor works for a specific faction of our government who is interfering with my distribution channels and killing them off. That is a major conflict of interest in our own War Department. Do not let appearances fool you. Once we kill Connor, we cut off one of their major legs. Sir, why don't we just find out which department he's working with and work it out? There is a faction of the government that is fucking with my business and I'm gonna stand for it.
you friend of Harrison? Are you Frank Connor? Yes, sir. I have a passenger for you. What's going on? Mr. Casa, why are we stopping? You keep this coach rolling. Heather. Oh. It's, uh, it's me. It's Frank. Where did you come from? How, how did you find me? Uh, well, um, I, I, I have the kids. Uh, uh, your, your kids, Grace and Ethan. You have Grace and Ethan? Where, where are they? Are they safe? They're in my father's house. They're safe, but we got to go. Take me to them. Ma'am, I know you don't like me much. But please take care of that one for me. Would you? Grace and Ethan show in my place. Some story about how you've been kidnapped. You ain't been seen in a week, and they're all worried and think something happened to you, so they ask for my help. That's all. Ain't no, ain't no mystery to it. Well, I'm thankful that you have them and that they're safe. And I'm thankful that you are taking me to them now. Yes. So please do that. Look, I'm not trying to weasel my way back in your heart. Aren't I, you? No. I, Aren't you, though? <laughs> no. No. I'm just... Look, I'm trying to help you out is all. Take me to my children. That will help me a lot. Listen, Frank, I am very grateful. But you can't just come back in my life, into my children's lives, like you weren't gone, a dead man, for ten years. I'm not trying to get back in your life, Heather. I'm just trying to help you out. I'm not. I think you're misunderstanding. I'm not misunderstanding anything. I had to create another life, Frank. I, I had to have stability for the children. What was I supposed to do? I married Briggs and he treated us terribly, but at least there was stability and food on the table and a roof over our head. So please forgive me if I'm a little bit hostile. Did he hit you? He provided for us. He put a a roof over our heads and food on the table. That ain't what I'm asking. Did he hit you? Heather, did he hit you? Frank, I just want to go see my children, please. I'm not going to get away with that. What are you going to do? Why are we stopped? I want to see my children. No, we're going back to the compound. What are you talking about? We're going to the compound. I'm not letting that man get away with that. What? We're going to see Brady. No, no, yeah. I want to go see. I want to go see my children. We'll get you to your children afterwards, but this is going to end here and now. Come on, Frank.
Captain McAllister. I'm back so soon. Cut the shit, Briggs. After your last little threat, one of my men did an inquiry into you and we found out some interesting information about you and your little operation here. Well, let's stop you right there before you go too far and embarrass yourself. Mr. Briggs, it is time for you to stop with the lies and stop with the stories. Now, I don't know how you rose to your position, although I have my theories. But aside from that, you are hereby under arrest for multiple infractions of the law. Firstly, for selling U.S. government firearms to the hostiles. Arrest him. I don't think so. You best back off. Go on, holster your weapons. Or I will shoot and kill your sweet, dear Captain McAllister. You sure this is the right thing to do? You can't walk away from this. I could do whatever the hell I damn well please. And I believe you are in no position to be making demands of me. What the hell are you doing, Briggs? Remember that faction I was telling you about, boys? Here it is. Hey, Briggs, sir. That's Captain McAllister. You, you can't, you can't do this. Sir, you shoot him. The whole operation goes to hell. Yeah, well, I'm doing it, boys. And now for my demands. Firstly, I want guaranteed safe passage south of the border to Mexico where my compadres will pick me up. And secondly, I would rather have to not deal with this fool. Now would you both please get out there and do me the privilege of finding Connor? As soon as Frank Connor gets here, I will make the exchange. But I suppose in the meantime, Captain McAllister and I will just wait patiently. What a country! A farm boy like me can rise to such high power to be operating such a major operation. And the best part is, none of you ever questioned me. Which is exactly why I'm the stud duck in this pond. Shoot him. Not bad, huh? Now all you! I'm gonna be working hard trying to get the bad guys. I'm gonna be sitting pretty in Mexico, making sweet, sweet love to some sexy senoritas and fandango in the night away. Cake out your tongue, Captain McAllister! Please, think about everything you worked for. Just let the money do this. Sir, please. No, you get the hell out of my hey, way! Hey, no! Hey, back all of you! This is my camp and I want you to get the hell out of here! Greg, calm down. Now, family, you listen up. As soon as Fred County gets here, I want his hands tied behind his back. I want my horse ready to go! Dead. Another done run off. You feeling lonely? How does it happen, Mr. Briggs? How does a farm boy from Valdosta, Georgia become this? A disgrace to our country.
got a bad feeling about this. You're gonna have to trust me. If you run into that brush and hide, don't be scared. I'll be back for you. Well, let me off the horse. Well, okay then. Miss Connor! What's going on? Well, it appears Briggs is looking for a dog to kick. He's got Captain McAllister hostage. He wants to switch him out with you. Y'all mind if I take care of some personal business? Be our guest. We're done. He's all yours, Connor. Like your fang. Before we go into a canyon, you should know how the hell you get out. So that's what we should want to do. Oh, kill yourself. Show me you're not carrying packing iron. Why don't you let that captain go and you can have me? Come on, Frank, you know me better than that. Why would I let him go? Henry, you listen to me now. You can let that captain go between you and me. I don't want you, Frank. I want to kill you. Travis! What's this? An apparition of my dead wife? What the hell's going on, Travis? Where are you? What are you doing? You know this ain't going to lead to nowhere good. You can let the captain go, please. She never loved you. You 
done deserted her a decade ago. Matter of fact, she don't give a crap about you. Travis, you can end all of this. Right here, right now. You can end it all. Please, just stop. Let him go. And you used to be an army surgeon, right? I've mined some lead before. In a while. Oh. It's gonna be all right. Hey, hey, it's gonna be all right. I need you to be strong for me. All right, baby? Frank, do us both a favor. Go outside. Decision, and then I'm going to dig for that bullet. 
Now it's gonna be a pain you've never felt before. lost a lot of blood, but I patched her up. She's strong. She'll be okay. When can we see her? Soon. But remember, you need your mom, but your mom needs you. Harrison, get over here! <laughs> Grandpa told us everything. Yeah, Pa. She'd like that. Go on, yeah. Hop on. I want to ride her first thing. Here, Ethan, get on it. Oh, she's so sweet. Can I put like up for more effort? Ah! Ah! Wow. It's way different from being on a normal horse. This <laughs> slow. You gotta be careful. Come on. Come on. Yeah, just tug Come her along. Just gently got it. Gently. Come on. We love all God's Aww. creatures. Be nice. Frank Connor. Hmm. I never want to leave you ever again. Well, then don't. 